Hello everybody. Hope this finds you well. Troubling. All of the events that have happened this year and are still happening. And it looks like uh, July is going to be a very interesting month. I hope you're prepared. But um, there are many things you can't prepare for. You know, except spiritually. Yeah. Say the Earth is hit by an asteroid. If you're at ground zero, there ain't nothing you can do. hope you're right with God. If uh, all these disaster predictions come true, say the dams break along the Missouri River, well, how fast can you get to high ground? You know, will you have time to go get your bug out bag? have time to just get your ass on the roof of your house. Interesting. I live in northwest Oklahoma. I see my dad pick this spot because of uh, things he knew. He wouldn't tell us how he knew these things. Probably because he thought we'd all think he was crazy. But he'd always say, this is the best place to be. And we're safe. This is as safe as you're going to get. Now look at all these um, disaster predictions. And um, looks like he's right. I've had many bad dreams about terrible events, some of which have come true. I don't go around expressing them. I'm not a prophet. Sometimes they don't come true. But one thing I know for certain, for certain, This year is a defining year for civilization, mankind as a whole. How we come through it will be um, very important. You see, um, God likes overcomers, people who overcome hardships, tragedies, disasters, things in our lives which we each individually must face. After all, we're the only one that can face it when it's happening to us, isn't it? Now, we can sympathize for the man dying of cancer, but unless we're dying of cancer, we really don't know what that person's going through. And only they can deal with it with themselves. And we can help. We can help comfort them. and give them medications for the pain. But in the end, it's up to that person their will. I want to try to be give you some comfort and encouragement in these hard times. You can lose your home and your possessions. It's not the end of the world. I've lost my possessions a couple of times. 
you know, there are things you miss and things which hurt to lose, such as photo albums, and personal memory things. But uh, possessions can be replaced and new memories can be made. Do not be troubled by all these terrible things going on. They gotta happen. And they're going to happen no matter what we do. Do the best you can in preparing for it. Store up food, water. Have a plan in case you have to get out fast. Have a place to meet with family members and friends. Try to pick a safest place you can. A lot of people talking like you may need to be underground. I'm not one for hiding underground. But then, uh, I do not expect to physically survive any of the tribulations coming upon this world. When all the crap finally hits the fan, as they say, and it gets messy everywhere and there's nowhere to turn, you find yourself out in northwest Oklahoma somewhere, look for a bonfire on a hill, that's where I'll be. I don't have much. But if we can get together, we can make something. Maybe a new start. Maybe help pull each other out of the rubble. Maybe group together to fight the forces against us? I don't know. There's too many unknowns. And we're being bombarded from every side and every angle. And most human minds can only handle a couple of tragedies and disasters at a time. But when you get them all stacked together on top of each other, one right after the other, it becomes too much for many of you to handle. I know this. I know this real well. Put your trust in the Lord. Let Him guide you. He won't steer you wrong. Now, if you don't believe in the Lord, in the God, created us all, then I will pray for you whether you want me to or not. He wants all of us to be saved. He knows many of us will not turn to Him. And many of us will perish because of it. And it's not His hand doing it to you. You're doing it to yourselves wanted to show you the sunrise this morning. Uh, the fires burning southeast of here made for a interesting sunrise. There's the moon. Well, I'm looking through a greasy window. Took the dog for a walk, up, seeing the sun come up. Decided to check out the countryside a bit. Or find the typical trash laying around. Some people, no respect for nature. Well, everything's so dry. It's 
fires are burning almost 200 miles from here. They put the haze in the sky. It's the same. Kind of makes me wonder what they're thinking down there in that uh, artillery training base. That uh, they know that we're having a drought here. Or did they not care? Just wanted to fire off a few rounds. Well, yeah. Didn't hear any birds singing. But uh, the vultures have woken up. It's already warm. It's about 8 o'clock when I film this, and uh, the vultures are catching the thermals, starting to get higher. The roost of about 20 of them near here. Don't worry guys, you'll get plenty to eat soon. Now, walk on up the hill here. Look at this. Flower here fixing the bloom out. Pretty little thing. Only flower in the entire field. I don't know how he feels. Well, the ways down here, the marsh grass. Kind of pretty this time of year. Thought I might leave you with this beautiful scene. Hope you all have a good day. Peace, love, and understanding. Be with you all.